שלום לכולם, ערב טוב. שמי דוד שולמן, אני שמח לברך אתכם אה, בערב אה, שהוא לפי דעתי ערב מאוד מאוד מיוחד. אה, המוזיקה הקרנטית הקלאסית של דרום הודו איננה כל כך שגורה במחוזותינו, כמעט ואיננה ידועה, והנה אנחנו נזכה הערב לשמוע אה, קונצרט מלא במסורת הקלאסית, במתכונת הקלאסית, מפי אחד המוזיקאים הגדולים בהודו, ואולי הנציג המובהק של המוזיקה הקרנטית בדורנו. אני ברשותכם אעבור לאנגלית ואני אזמין את הנגנים שהם ייכנסו לבמה. Um, I'd like to invite our artists to come to the stage. I'm going to introduce the artist in just a moment, but before I do that, uh, I'd like to invite uh, His Excellency, the Ambassador of India, Mr. Pavan Kapoor, Kapoor, to say a word or two of blessing, please. Thanks very much, David. Uh, it's uh, really a great pleasure and a privilege uh, to be here and to uh, have uh, TM Krishna from India to perform here in Israel. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's a rare honor to get to see somebody like uh, Mr. Krishna, such an acclaimed uh, uh, artist and an exponent of this wonderful Carnatic music in any part of the world, although he does tour quite a bit. Uh, and uh, so it's, it's extremely special uh, to have him perform here in Jerusalem. Um, for those of you who know a little bit about his music, and I'm sure David will tell you more, um, you know, he's um, not only achieved so much and started off extremely young, even though he's extremely modest about this fact, but apart from his music, he's also uh, a bit of a, almost a bit of a public intellectual in India. He's very outspoken and uh, shares uh, publicly his concerns on social and cultural and political issues. And, uh, it's, uh, and he's also supporting a range of foundations with different concerns. And uh, so, uh, he's, and he's also made a great effort to try and uh, widen this, the, the reach of this form of music, which uh, has uh, a very, uh, you know, for a long time been considered a, a preserve of the elite. He's really tried to get it out to uh, a very different kind of um, audience too. So, um, you know, just want to say thanks to David uh, and the Israeli Academy of Sciences and Humanities for bringing uh, Mr. Krishna and his accompaniments and his uh, accompanists here. Uh, it's very, very special for us because it uh, also happens to be, 2017 also happens to be the year which we are marking 25 years of India-Israel uh, diplomatic relations. So, uh, <laughs> we do plan to mark this year in, in different forms, in different areas, in the political sphere, in the economic sphere, and certainly in the cultural sphere. Uh, but uh, I can't think of a better way uh, in the cultural arena to start this year here in Jerusalem uh, with a performance by uh, TM Krishna. So thank you very much and uh, enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, before I forget, I have been asked to remind you to turn off your phones, please. And also, um, those of you who want to take pictures, uh, please no flash. No flash, okay? Um, I'm going to introduce the artist in just a moment. Before I do that, I also want to thank the Israel Academy of Sciences and Humanities, uh, whose initiative it was to bring T.M. Krishna to Jerusalem. Um, I'd like to thank the president of the, the Academy, Professor Neely Cohen, um, Professor Yosef Kaplan, who's the head of the Khatiwa Lamadei Ruach, who I think is here tonight, and um, also Galia Finzi who, from the Academy, who actually did all the hard work, and it was in some ways rather complex work. Very grateful to the Academy of Sciences. Um, 
We are going to be hearing a concert, a classical concert, Carnatic music. You'll be hearing compositions. Um, I'm sure, I don't know exactly what it's going, but I'm guessing that there'll be compositions from the great composers of the late 18th and early 19th century. It's interesting, it's the same time as the great classical period in Vienna and Germany, Central Europe, in Western classical music. Um, and let me say just a very few words about the artists. I don't want to take up much time. Uh, let me begin with the violinist, Mr. Uh, Sri uh, Hinesawe Bhaskar, um, comes from Mysore in Chennai. And our medangist, uh, Mr. Praveen Kumar. Both Praveen and Bhaskar come from musical families and a long lineage of the classical tradition. Um, I also want to thank Peleg, who is going to be doing the uh, tambura, right? Yeah. About uh, T.M. Krishna, it's not so easy to know what to say, and if I begin, I'm afraid I might go on for too long. So I'll say just maybe one or two uh, brief uh, words of introduction. Um, Krishna, uh, he, uh, he's been singing and learning music since a very young age, five, I believe. Uh, he studied with many fine teachers, uh, culminating in seven years of study with a truly legendary uh, musician, um, that is Semankudi Srinivasa Iyer, one of the great musicians of the 20th century. Um, he grew up within the, you could say, within this very, very rich cultural and musical tradition of South India, of Madras. Um, he, uh, he's an internationally known performer, also, as the ambassador said, very much of a public voice, a public intellectual. Um, it's because of the combination of these two roles that he was awarded the Ramon Magsese uh, Award, which is the ultimate prize in all of Asia uh, last year. Um, and I just want to say uh, that um, one of the amazing things about, about Krishna is that he seems to be equally at home and equally a master, whether he is singing in the presence of the god, Lord Vishnu Ranganatha and the Sri Rangam temple, or in... Um, in, uh, uh, in New York, in the, the Lincoln Center, or any of the other many famous um, uh, concert venues throughout the world. Um, he moves with astonishing ease between these worlds. He's also capable, as we saw yesterday in the master class at the Academy of Sciences, of speaking about Carnatic music in a way which anyone can understand, even those who don't have direct experience of this music before. I want to say personally, it's been an enormous pleasure, great joy to have you with us and to spend time with Krishna also is a very special, a special experience. All kinds of things happen. For example, I think that today, uh, when we went down into the lower depths of the Coptic church in the old city, behind the Holy Sepulcher, many of you will know that this is an access to the old waterworks of Jerusalem, in fact, to the whole subterranean world of Jerusalem, this world that exists beneath the Jerusalem that we normally inhabit. I think it must have been the first time in at least 2,000 years that anybody sang a Carnatic Kirtana in a classical raga coming from the depths, the inner depths of this amazing city that we have the uh, joy of living in. So. Um, I'll say no more, but um, ask the performers to begin.
I'll try and uh, give you some details on what we're going to sing, not too much. Uh, there's a tendency that I have that I forget to do that. So in case I do that, I'll pick it up at some point of time and, and go back. So uh, don't worry too much about that. Just listen to the music. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll begin with a, a raga called Thodi. The composition I'll present is a composition by one of the 18th century composers that David spoke about, Shama Shastri. The composition is in the language Telugu. It's set to a seven-beat cycle talam called Mishra Chapu. There will be improvisation that will come in and come and go. Sada na 